troubling, unusual, containing inconsistencies, and eliciting serious concerns. Those are just some of the words used by a Senate committee looking at Pamela Wallen's expense audit. And now it's asked the Saskatchewan senator to repay tens of thousands of dollars more, placed her under strict travel restrictions, and called in the RCMP. Margot McDermott has our lead story tonight from Ottawa. Margot. Andrew, the report is bad news, good news for Pamela Wallen. The good news is 73% of her travel is fine. The bad news is there are big problems with the rest of it. In political Ottawa, it's hot reading, the final audit of Senator Wallen's expenses. Senators who've been poring over the details are now referring the audit to the RCMP. I believe I can uh, <coughs> speak for um my colleagues on both sides when I say that uh, we found aspects of the Deloitte report uh, very troubling. The audit shows Wallen racked up more than $121,000 in travel unrelated to Senate business. She's already repaid $38,000 and now has to pay back the remaining $82,000 plus interest. Another $21,000 has been flagged for further study. The report has many examples of how Wallen claimed for travel. In 2009, she went to Guelph University's convocation, where she was chancellor, but charged the Senate saying it was a business meeting. That same year, she claimed for a public speech in Saskatchewan. Turned out it was a local Tory fundraiser. And then there was the bill to attend this conservative election rally, which is against the rules. None of this helps the Senate's already tarnished image. Uh, colleagues that I spoke to uh, during the summer tell me that everywhere they go they're being uh, mocked uh, and they find it very, very difficult. And it's a difficult time for the institution. Yesterday, Wallen said the audit unfairly applied new rules to trips she took years ago. Some colleagues think her mistakes weren't intentional. I think if there were uh, faults that I would attribute to her, it would be saying yes too often being a little too enthusiastic and being sloppy on the bookkeeping. At no time did I attempt to mislead Deloitte in any way. Some inconsistencies are less easily explained, say the auditors, like the hundreds of changes Wallen made to her daily calendars. She said this senator told her to take out irrelevant details. If she did something wrong, no one told her to do it. Certainly not me. And there's more. Starting now, the Senate will only pay for Wallen's direct trips between Ottawa and Saskatchewan unless the trip is pre-approved. And they're going to monitor her travel for a year. Mm. So, Margot, what, what does this audit mean for other senators and their travel expenses? Well, we don't actually know how much the other senators travel. So, the Auditor General is going to investigate all the senators' expenses. All right. Thanks a lot, Margot.